Hi, I'm Jacob, and today we're going to talk about the Raspberry Pi high quality camera. Uh, you might notice that I'm not holding it up right now, and that's because I'm actually recording this video on the high quality camera itself. So let's take a closer look at the hardware and uh, see what it can do. Alright, so this is what you get in the box with the Raspberry Pi high quality camera. You get a little envelope that has a very tiny slotted screwdriver and a screw. Now mine actually, this envelope was just sitting open in the box and the screw was sitting at the bottom of the box. So keep that in mind when you get yours. Um, and then the camera itself does also come with a cap that protects the sensor as well as a adapter which is all this is pre-attached that goes from CS mount to C mount so that's the the sensor in there and so CS mount and C mount are actually the same um, specs and everything it's just CS means short uh, so the S is means it's just closer to the sensor so when you get a lens now, you can get the Raspberry Pi ones, or you can just get whatever C-mount lens you want. Um, they've been making these for decades, um, ever since the, uh, the 30s. Uh, so you can just go on eBay and, and search for C-mount lens and probably find one that's pretty good uh, for cheaper than the ones that you can get that are the official Raspberry Pi ones. So this is a, a 25 millimeter lens. This is actually a pretty crazy telephoto lens. Um, so... I wouldn't recommend this. This is actually a 12.5 millimeter lens, so this is pretty good. Uh, you want you would want to set it up across the room in order to do like a talking head kind of video. So to attach the lens, all you do is just very carefully make sure you line up the threads with the uh, with the mount there, and then just screw it on. And uh, you don't want to tighten it like crazy. Just kind of snug you don't want the thing the lens unscrewing uh so yeah there we go it's that's that's good now yeah so when you put on a new lens you'll need to adjust the back focus and the back focus is actually this like extra ridge here so when you when you turn when you turn this it makes the lens closer or farther away from the sensor so if you this doesn't matter too much um, because if your lens has focusability and this has the back focus, you just kind of figure it out until you get the image focused. But if you really want to set it up right, um, then you would put this outside, point at something that is at infinity or like really far away. You would set the lens to infinity, this infinity symbol here. And then you would adjust the back focus until the infinity is in focus. And then you can take your little screwdriver and tighten down this screw here. And that's, you have to really wrench it down though uh, to get it to stop moving. Uh, that is kind of annoying that it, it'll, you have to really tighten that down. It feels like you're going to break it. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so that's, uh, and then some lenses have a aperture. So you, you you can actually um, control that now. So it does also, uh, it obviously it has the ribbon cable for you to connect to the Pi, uh, but it also has a tripod mount, uh, which lets you connect any uh, tripod plate, uh, like anything with this quarter inch 20 connection. Uh, and that's, uh, that's really it. You just set it up uh, like any other Raspberry Pi camera. So I set it up outside with a little LCD screen and a little uh, wireless keyboard and mouse combo uh, to try and see what it can do in like really good light conditions. So this is just some foliage in my backyard. Um, I just wanted to show like a full screen of movement and see if you know it could resolve all these details. I think I had stopped this down to like F4, maybe 2.8. I'm not entirely sure, um, but it seemed to do a pretty good job. And then this is just looking at a chain that's hanging off of our hammock stand. Uh, this is the 12.5 millimeter lens at f5.6. So you, you can get that, that shallow depth of field 
Uh, and then this is the 25 millimeter lens, the, the smaller lens that I showed. And that shows even more shallow depth of field. This is actually at f4. Um, and uh, I think it turned out really sharp and uh, looks pretty good. So this is looking down my side yard toward the street. And uh, this is with the 12.5 millimeter lens at f5.6. You can see that it's struggling a little bit, the auto exposure, uh, with the dark corner on the left side of the frame and the bright center. Uh, but it's doing a pretty decent job of, uh, of balancing out those brightness levels. And then this is the 25 millimeter lens, again, with the same perspective, uh, but you can see just how much more it is cropped. Uh, I believe this is also at f5.6 to, to get some sharpness throughout the entire frame. Uh, but you can see this is a much more uniform scene as far as brightness goes, so it's doing a lot better of a job with it. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed that look at the Raspberry Pi high-quality camera. Uh, check out some of my other videos, and I'll be doing some more content on uh, the Raspberry Pi 4 as well as the high-quality camera in the future. Thanks.